Hello, um, we're going to take a look at uh, the process of modeling a uh, generic bipath character. Uh, for this, uh, we're not going to use any references, but it's basically going to be a step-by-step -step process. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a, a very simple cube, which we will subdivide. So we're going to use our smooth function and we're actually going to smooth it twice and let's take a look and examine what we've got here uh, so uh, this mesh already has some important uh, edges and we as we're modeling and creating uh, the proper edge structure we need to consider them so uh, this edge right here is actually divides the this smooth cube into two halves and uh, this area right here is going to be the back of the head this is primarily will define the front of the head we're going to take uh, these faces right here to generate the ear and we're going to use these three faces here uh, to generate the eye um, and uh, as you would see further there's going to be an area here where we're actually going to be extracting the nose and, uh, and the face so um, let's get started uh, there's going to be a lot of refinement, but we're going to do that later. Uh, we will use a, uh, a toolkit, uh, my new functionality. So let's select the center edge here and use the toolkit uh, to assign symmetry. So right now everything is symmetrical and we can actually uh, model. So we might do some adjustments here and there just a little bit but remember that probably at some point later we're gonna do a much more uh, refinement here so notice I'm kind of making this area a little larger because that's where we're gonna have our main the eyes uh, eye sockets and uh, it's also important to uh, uh, outline pretty much right away that notice this point right here this is sort of where uh, the eye sockets are connecting with the front area of the face the the, the mouse you can actually s sort of see how it starts to form uh, right now okay all right let's get going so we're gonna take a couple of our faces here and start identifying the important features um, let's use extrude tool and we're gonna use instead of the local Z uh, we're gonna use offset to kinda make these a little smaller there we go and um, I'm actually gonna use combination of tools uh, and in this case I'm just gonna use a regular extrude and push what's happening here let's do extrude and we're just gonna push these faces back just like that and we can use our scale to make these areas a little smaller so you can kind of see how it starts to develop right and again we're gonna do more refinements later um, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and also extrude our ears right away. Make sure that our symmetry is still working. Uh, well, let's use the toolkit extrude. And at this point, we're also going to use the uh, local Z to pull these out. So here we've got some nice looking basic ears. And let's go ahead and um, also I def define the facial area and uh, the, and the chin a little bit a little bit more. What we're gonna do here is actually gonna grab a whole bunch of faces just like that. 
these faces here and we're gonna extrude them that's a little too much so re let's reset our local Z we'll use a little bit of an offset let's switch to our original poly so uh, it does look like it does look pretty funny right now uh, but I will it'll get there let's see let's go ahead and do some more tweaking again symmetry vertices As I said, we'll do a little bit more of that tweaking, a little bit more. There we go. And I guess while we're here, let's let's actually do some refinement. So a lot of times it's easier to see how we're gonna go any further. Uh, when we do get things re refined, um, here's our ears. We actually take both ears right now and like rotate them a little bit. Let's use our soft select. So I'm gonna hit B to enable it. to disable it's probably a good idea to switch to the side view here so we can better assess the silhouette Give it a nicer proportions. And that looks decent. We may have turned the ears a little bit too much. There we go. And give them a nicer rounded skull. Okay, let's pause right here and we're going to go to the next, uh, in the next video, we're going to develop the mouse and the nose.